Thank you and Darud. When I asked that question to the Prime Minister, what I really wanted to say was Zan, Zendigi, Azadi and Sita. I shouldn't have to ask that question and the answer should be obvious. The Prime Minister gets all the briefings he needs. He knows this isn't a normal protest. He knows this isn't business as usual. And he knows that our allies and other countries like Canada, the United Kingdom and the EU are doing the right thing and we are lagging behind them and that's not good enough. I belong to a political party, but there's many times when there's things that matter so much more than that, and this is one of them. I want him to succeed. I want Albanese to do the right thing. And Peter Dutton stood up after he gave his answer, an answer that said he would put economic considerations above the right thing. That was at least the implication. And Peter Dutton said this. We won't stand in your way. Anything you want to do, you have our support. So there will be no political price that the Prime Minister has to pay. The only thing he has to do is the right thing, and you need to keep telling him to do the right thing. We gather with a university nearby, and it makes me think of all of the university towns in Iran that had protests like this full of young students with their whole lives ahead of them who wanted one simple thing which was to be heard and to be recognised and to live a life. So many of those are now in prison, 13,000 have been imprisoned and 1,000 are facing a death sentence for doing exactly this. That regime needs to know that the world will be watching and if any person is hurt, God help them. Every time I come to a rally like this, a part of me thinks, oh, is this the one where the crowd pulls back or people get on with their lives? And every time you never disappoint me, you keep turning up, you never give up, and I know you will always be here and I will always be here for you. So keep it up, keep fighting, and let's make Australia do the right thing for the people of Iran.
Palace. What else needs to happen for you to sanction the terrorist group? Republic, and the more silence I see from the other countries, the more I realize we are all alone in this fight. We only have each other. So let's not forget, there's only one way to win this battle, and that is unity. Now, please find someone next to you that you don't know. And look into their eyes and just say how you feel in this moment in one word and then give them a hug.
ایران که در حال جنگ هم که توی زندان هم که کشته شدم یک بار دیگه اینجاست برای آزادی توماج عزیز مرسی از نیما که برای ایران اینجاست و برای آزادی توماج اینجاست و خواستم یک توضیح کوتاهی بدم از بچه های Help for Iran همونطور که میبینین دوستان گروهی هستن که برای جمعوری کمک های نقدی به بچه هایی که توی ایران آسیب دیدن دوچار مشکلات مالی هستن یا برای درمانشون به کمک مالی احتیاج دارن دارن یک سری وسیله تهیه کردن که دارن از طریق فروش این وسیله برای بچه های ایران حمایت میفرستن کاری که در حال حاضر از دستمون برمیاد هر سوالی داریم پیج هلپ فور ایران رو دنبال کنین ازشون بپرسین ازشون بخواین دوستان تمام هزینه هایی که شما پرداخت میکنین یا هر کس کمک میکنه با رسید اونجا میذارن و امروز کنار ما هستن که باز هم بتونیم یک حمایت کوچیکی رو جمع کنیم برای بچه های مظلوم ایران 43 years the discrimination and the differences between Iranian women and the men has been a lot. Our women has been through a lot. Today, in solidarity and respect, once again, we gather together, hand in hand, to show our support to our women. It all started with a woman with a 22-year-old girl died in custody of the police and the whole country raised and now the whole world is raising the whole world is getting together thank you thank you the whole world is getting together to support and once again to show that what an Iranian woman can do I'm here to support my mom I'm here to support my sisters and I'm here also to support my brothers the ones that are dying in the middle of the streets in Iran what are we if we're not united today we get together to put aside our differences without being selfish about what we believe and what we want and get together and have unity Because the unity is one thing that what we need and the unity is something that helps us to achieve what we want. With unity, we can beat them. The Islamic Republic has no place to stay. They have done enough. I was on the streets of Iran in 2009, but we got shut off. We couldn't raise our voice anymore. They shut us off. But this generation, this is a different generation. This generation, what? They know what they want. And they are shouting what they want. And they come into the streets. And they're not going home until they get what they want. They're not going home. We're not going to go home. We don't have anywhere to go. The IRGC has to go. The whole system has to go, bro. The whole system has to go. I'd like to speak to... Australia, I don't know if you're Australian, if you're listening, if you're Canadian, you're from the UK, or you're from the United States. Just imagine if this was an 18 or 20 or 17 year old girl in your country. Just tell me what would have happened then. Just tell me if the whole world wouldn't have not just got up and speak up and protect that family and just stand together for solidarity. Unity is something that the world needs, that Iranian needs unity. Please put your hands together, be with each other, so we can get rid of the IRGC. Because we have the common enemy. Our common enemy is something that we have to get motivated by. Something that we can just put our hands together and hold each other's hands and tell them, let's get them. Let's take, get rid of them.
for the past 10 years of my life living in Australia, the last 60 days have been my most honorable moments of being Iranian. Shouting myself being Iranian. I'm just saying, oh, man, I'm Iranian. You know what's happening in Iran? I am Iranian. I am Iranian. I love to be Iranian right now. Because my people needs me. If you are here right now, that means you have honors in your life. That means you've raised well. You've been, you've been fed well. Iranian people are very kind people. They're very honorable people. They use a lot of endearments in their words. We are kind. The world does not know us about this kindness. The world has a different about idea about uh, how we are and who we are. And let's show them who we are. Let's show them. Let's show them Iranians. If they want to get together, they can get together in Berlin. 12,000 people, people. 12,000 people in Berlin. That was not bad, huh? With unity, we can get together. This is a message that we're trying to send to the world. We have unity. We are together. This is not just a small gathering. This is just the whole world are coming together. The whole Iranians are coming together. I know every each one of you think the same way as I do. Let's say death to dictators and get rid of them. Mark bar Khomeini. Mark bar dictator. Down with dictator. Down with dictator. دوستان جا داره که تشکر کنم از حضورتون ممنون که اینجا حضور به عمل آوردید امروز مانند روزای دیگه مانند چند هفته های گذشته که کنار هم اومدیم اومدیم که صدای مردممون باشیم اومدیم که صدای مردمی باشیم که در چارچوب ایران توسط ظالمان درگیر شدن همچنین باید خدمتون یادآوری کنم که در این روزا که میدونم که حضور همه ما تأثیر گذاره ولی وظیفه تک تک ما ایرانی هاست که در اینجا حضور داشته باشیم و هیچ منتی بر سر هیچ ایرانی نیست آیسو همچنین ببخشید ملبورن برای ایران تشکیل شده از گروهی مردمی به صورت خودجوش و فارغ از هر گونه وابستگی به هیچ ارگانی یا حزب خاصی که از روز اول فوت مرحوم محسا امینی در کنار شما هموطنان عزیز شروع به فعالیت کرده و همچنین باقی خواهد ماند حزب ما مردم ارگان ما ملت و خواسته ما سرنگونی جمهوری قاتل مثلا اسلامی است همه ما یک خواسته داریم و امروز مهمترین روزی است که باید در کنار هم دست در دست با اتحاد و با کنار گذاشتن خواسته های شخصی خود در کنار یکدیگر با هر اعتقاد و باوری بیستیم و دست از تلاش برای سرنگونی جمهوری اسلامی بر نداریم زمان زمان تعیین مدیر نیست زمان تغییر حاکم ظالم است زمان خروج ملاهای مفتخور جمهوری اسلامی است این دزدان امام بسر و جانیان جوانان پرشور و عشق ایرانی اتحاد امروز رمز پیروزی ماست بیایید یک بار دیگر به جهانیان ثابت کنیم که خون ایرانی در رگهای من جریان دارد و این حرمت و شرفی که داریم و دل سوزی که می کنیم کمک می کند که به خواسته ما برسیم مرگ بر جمهوری اسلامی مرگ بر جمهوری اسلامی مرگ بر جمهوری اسلامی مرگ بر جمهوری اسلامی مرگ بر خامنه ای مرگ بر خامنه ای نه شیخ میخوایم نه ملا لعنت به آیت الله 
نه شیخ میخوایم نه ملا لعنت با آیت الله نه شیخ میخوایم نه ملا لعنت با آیت الله نه شیخ میخوایم نه ملا لعنت با آیت الله خامنه ای قاتله حکومتش باطله خامنه ای قاتله حکومتش باطله خامنه ای قاتله حکومتش باطله